Doctors have read it, what's the worst thing you can do to your body? Nothing. Being stagnant with your body will literally kill you. Move around. Go walk. Bend your knees. Stretch. Do Aladat. Untreated hypertension and diabetes. Oh, and cocaine slash crack, the coronary vasospasms will do a number on your heart. Applying cow dung to an open fracture. Not my idea. Saw it happen. Dude died to sepsis in less than 24 hours. Why did I click on this? Ignore a clear, concise, and increasing sign that something is going wrong. You have a weird pain in your stomach? Okay, can be anything, no worries. You have a new pain that stays the same or begins getting worse and worse, and after a long period of time it's still clearly there? Then go check. Drink alcohol for a long period of time. Cirrhosis and ultimate liver failure are one of the worst deaths I can imagine. Long and slow while you get to think about the consequences of your actions while you lose your mind and or bleed to death. Not enough sleep. Think of sleep like recharging your phone. Without it, you can't function. Eat a rock. Note that I have a PhD in geosciences. Lung cancer and alcoholism, what a combination. My brother did not die in peace and tranquility, instead he died in utter madness and awful pain after smoking and drinking for decades. Even when he could no longer get out of his bed, he wrestled physically in resisting his wife's efforts to wash and clean him. In the end, his only thought was his next cigarette, and the secondary tumors in his brain caused such odd delusions that he felt his wife was living on a different timescale, and therefore extending the gaps between his cigarettes. He died in a drug-induced sleep, thank God, but his last thoughts were not of his wife or of his son and daughter, but of his next cigarette. There is no worse addiction. All these responses with alcohol, smoking, lack of exercise, poor diet, lack of sleep, how am I even alive at this point? Knowing all the doctors I know, probably whatever they're doing themselves, drinking, smoking, lack of exercise, poor diet, etc. Alcohol and smoking. No question. As soon as I started working as a nurse on an avascular surgery unit, I lost weight and stopped eating sugar. I really 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 never want to end up having diabetes, my god so much horror comes from that. Meth Not a doctor, but a nurse. My tops are, leave any chronic condition unmanaged, think diabetes hypertension and high cholesterol because they can cause serious, potentially fatal complications if left untreated or poorly managed. Next would be the obvious things like smoking, excessive alcohol intake, illicit drugs, etc., and my most controversial thing that is one of the most dangerous things you can do is bed share with your newborn. Shooting yourself is pretty high up there. I saw a fair amount of NDs on trauma rotation because people treat guns like toys rather than highly effective killing machines. Remember, never point the barrel at anything you don't intend to shoot and always keep your finger off the trigger unless you're ready to shoot. If you have a semi-automatic handgun you follow those two steps, drop the magazine, rack the slide to clear the chamber, I always look through, and some people may or may not choose to dry fire a few times while pointing at the ground to make sure it's unloaded. Make sure you follow those steps in that exact same order. Never carry in anything other than a holster and make sure you know where your firearm is at all times because it's ultimately your responsibility. Dentist here. Stop smoking. Smoking leads to bad oral health and mouth cancers. Bad oral health can lead to blood infections, endocarditis, cardiovascular disease, pneumonia, pregnancy complications, etc. Just stop smoking. And yes, that includes the green stuff. Not a doctor, but a nurse, so I hope my answer still counts, untreated diabetes. 
I often joke with my friends that I'd rather have a brain tumor than diabetes I wasn't able to treat. Essentially, it's a gateway to some of the worst possible things to experience. From flesh rotting away slash dying to coma, anything is possible. Studying as a healthcare professional goes something like this, oh this illness? Who has a predisposition for it? You'll never guess. People often overlook how serious diabetes is and how important it is to properly manage it. I saw someone mention chronic hypertension, also a good answer. Basically in a similar category as diabetes in a way that it comes with a long list of complications that can be pretty severe and even lead to heart failure. English is not my first language, so if I got something wrong fellow healthcare workers, please don't chew me out, sad face. Google symptoms of every small problem you have. Will definitely give you high blood pressure while solving nothing. Smoke. 